Recently, I have drifted more and more to work with the subconscious mind. I've been using intuition generated abstract background as the starting point for the entire figurative painting with a compelling subject in my mind. Here, copper, silver, and gold were selected as the predominant colors, which I set out to break with purple as I relate it to be the color of fear and anxiety. My decisions to use metallic paints was probably guided by the idea of stained reflection or a broken mirror. These ideas, on the other hand, arose from the main subject, which, for the first time since graduating, I set out to explore again as a starting point for painting. I tried to channel through me the experiences of bullying and traces it left behind. However, my subconscious did not begin to take the figurative layer towards those original ideas. Perhaps, as I have been free from bullying for 15 years, I no longer found myself broken, let alone stained. Over time, feelings of anger, shame, and imperfection have already flowed into dozens of works, which is why my past appears to me more as empowerer, a struggle already won, and an enabler of the present. I still don't underestimate the experience of bullying, let alone hope it for anyone, even though it may turn itself into a massive source of creativity. I remember how hellish my life was subjected to mockery and violence, and how frightening it was to go back to school every day. With my mind being my only shelter, I had to live in a world full of rage that wanted to break free in one way or another. I was submissive to accept every blow without letting them completely overthrow myself, turning their mockery into my own image and standing beneath the occasional beats, stable like a rock. I had adapted to cope with the situation, feeling like I deserved the loathing, but I refused to apologize for it. From these starting points over the guiding shapes of the color explosion, I ended up painting a character whose position is protection, submission, rage, and rising up. I see it carrying my entire story as the weight of its shoulders. I intentionally left a lot of space on the canvas for the next layer. You see, when I started working on this painting, I was already aware that I would finish it together with the web seminar hosted by Bullet Project. This foundation emerged from what I experienced, but my intention was to attach to it whatever my mind allows to emerge on a limited time schedule. This second layer was literally created on the plexiglass placed on top of the painting, followed by drawing with ink. 
Maybe because I worked in contact with other people, I started to find eyes, staring eyes that many who have experienced bullying feel even later in their lives, observing their world. But they turned into sad eyes, worried faces and lurking monsters. I just kept finding new eyes, which with the guidance of the background were shaped into unique characters. In part, I experienced roving guardians who looked after the subjugated character as he attempted to get back on his feet. On the other hand, I saw broken self-portraits, as well as survivors who owned their speciality. And then again, I may also see my own history in these numerous alter egos. During the bullying, I began to split into different faces and names through which I was able to have internal conversations to rebuild my broken self-image. And this need for otherness never completely disappeared from me. For example, I keep making art under the character of Valrana. Perhaps someone will sometime find the corresponding face of a character they have created of themselves or for their safety among the personalities I have drawn. Or perhaps this work of art can in another way help the integrity of the person who has experienced bullying. The image should say more than a thousand words, but on the other hand, it must first steal the viewer's attention. And I hope this time-lapse video acts as a doorway that opens the viewer's mind to receive whatever these visual stimuli manage to transfer as a message. Finally, I wrote my writing from 2009. Thank you to all those who entertained themselves in the past years by means of ridicule and violence against me. Without you, this creation would not have been born and I would certainly have been a balanced, normal person. You can see the finished work in my website, linked below. In future, I hope I can improve the quality of these videos a bit. We will see. Thank you for your time. Have a nice day.